Hi. Good morning from Warwick Castle. And Stevie's been waiting for this one. We're back here to do a full day here this time. I'm so happy to be back. Last time we were only here for the afternoon. Um, we're going to do lots of things that we didn't do last time. We're going to see the birds of prey again because apparently the morning show is different than the afternoon one that we saw yeah. last two. Last two. Last time. Last two. Um, and we haven't actually gone inside the castle, which I think is what we're going to do first. Uh, we haven't seen the jousting because that wasn't on because it was a weekday on an off-peak day last time. And what else haven't we done? Oh, we're not the dungeons. We're going to do in the dungeons, much to Stevie's love. Stevie it. loves the dungeons. We're going into the Great Hall and the state rooms. We're here with Rich and Lucy, by the way, and Elliot and Owen. Some pretty bling horse armour. Armoury on the walls. Different costumes. This guy's only got a feather. Does that mean he's like less important than the swan people? This is more stylish. Stylish. Mm. Yeah. You're not in focus. I love, I love yellow fur. Oh, you're in focus now. In focus when you stop moving. Stylish. <laughs> Stylish. Lots more armour here. And it's turned us a little bit about this here. That's actually a child suit of armour. Some guns in here. Really detailed carvings on them. I'm trying to figure out what them little signs are. They're on the blade of the sword up there. It's like a moon yeah. and three stars and there's an outfit next to it. Oh yeah. It's got to be like markings of an officer or a certain rank or something. Could be. Let's zoom in and see if we can see. Oh, Does anyone know what that means? Uh, does anyone know what those markings mean on the sword? Intrigued. Let us know. It's a bust. And this guy with the big painting on the wall is Frederick, Prince of Wales. This is Augusta, who is the Princess of Wales. It's a very detailed frame. Some more paintings. Yeah. Does it tell us on here? Oh, it's King, Ch King Charles the First. There you go, Charles the First. How did you not know, Stevie? <laughs> so I said like ten minutes ago. Yeah. But this is the state dining room, and in this very room, Queen Victoria and Prince Albert had some food, Stevie. Like food. We got we got butties. I wonder what Queen Victoria had. I wonder if she had ham butties. <laughs> is George the First? If she did, she would call him butties. Butties. <laughs> Under George the First, he's yeah, he's, out, he's got a butty in his hand there, maybe. <laughs> he's pointing down. He's pointing down. The butties are down there, mate. <laughs> Here's William the Third, and then down underneath William the Third, we got some recent royalty who've been here. There's Princess Diana visited here in 1986, just before I was born, and our current queen, Queen Elizabeth II, and Prince Philip came here in 1996. Some Tudor era costumes. And Stevie was just saying she loved learning about Henry VIII in school. And there he is. That's a pretty elaborate dining table. This was used for the powder ball in 1895. Elliot's waiting for us. <laughs> Are we slow? It's a big sword over there. We reckon this is some medieval dog furniture. Probably because it's more than everyone's house combined. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of tapestries on the wall in here. Really detailed. It's Henry VIII again. And Richard just been pointing out that there are swans on the ceiling. So, what do we think, Stevie? There's lots of swans going on. Is there a relationship between the swan helmets and the swans on the ceiling? I think it's a rank thing. Maybe the king gets to wear a swan. I don't know. Don't, don't all the swans go to the queen or something like that? Yeah, I'm not sure on the exact technicalities of that. Oh, view out of the window. View of a stevie. Oh, is that a big boomerang? Boomerang? <laughs> I think it's a tusk. That would make more sense. Yeah. <laughs> Unless the king was known for playing a bit of boomerang. You don't know, do you? 17th century grammar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot was really excited to show us this cauldron. We can't find any leaks in it though, Stevie. 
<laughs> hey. Detailed stained glass windows. <laughs> it's the king's iPad. <laughs> Stevie. Hello, Which king do you reckon owned that iPad? I think King Elliot. King Elliot. Yeah. That King Elliot's iPad. <laughs> it's organ here. Oh, All the pipes above it. Alan might know what they are. What's that? Uh, they changed the sound of the organ. Elliot before he ran off. Yeah. He didn't stay still for long enough to tell him. That's it. Oh, it's, the, it's the King's fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Is that the best bit? Yeah. <laughs> well, this bit's walled off. We're not allowed in that bit. The chapel area of the castle. Two guys playing cards. That guy looks like he's had a few too many whiskeys. Oh, is he sitting on the fireplace? <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting point. This lighting's not creepy at all. Who's this guy? He's the fifth Earl of Warwick. In the main courtyard of the castle. Looking very beautiful in the sunshine. That's the bit that we went up last time we were here. We went over the top of that and we watched the trebuchet show from up there. And this bit behind us is where we've just been walking around. Really interesting, there are lots of interesting things to see. Heading out of the gate here and grab a seat for the bird show. Stevie likes birds of prey shows. Already busy though, isn't it? Yeah, plenty of people grabbing a seat already. It's not on for 15 minutes yet. And the higher up he is, of course, the easier it is to be able to see everything going on around you. Before he had a meal on the duck. And we were thinking to ourselves, he's a professional, he'll be back to work tomorrow, he'll have forgotten all about that duck. And eat bones for a living. So after everybody else has finished eating every last morsel of flesh, this guy comes along, and with his short, powerful bill, he just snaps through rib bones, sword swallowing 10, 12 inch bones, down the hatch without any problems at all, but where it gets really cool and very interesting is how they deal with really big bones. So what they actually do, they pick, well, uh, things like, uh, I suppose, hips and skulls. We just watched the Birds of Prey show, and now this is the cue to get into the jousting arena. So we made it into the jousting arena, Stevie. And which side are we on? I didn't think we were going to make it in with how many people there were. Yeah, that's it. Very busy, as you can see. Oh, there. There's a lady yeah, well, sure it's counting the capacity, yeah. making sure they don't overfill it. Yeah, we're on the Lancashire side. It's Lancashire versus Yorkshire, Stevie, and we picked the proper side, the Lancashire side. <laughs> <laughs> no offence to anyone from Yorkshire who may be watching this. Edward, he could juggle you and still ride his horse in a full gallop. Is that so, Squire? It is, yeah. Well, it seems so. you're lying through your teeth then. This we have teeth. Have you seen yourself lately, yeah. really? Cheer on the count of three, one, two, three, boom! Mm. Guys, that, that was pathetic. It really was. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, I hate that word, but yeah, that was pathetic. I know we can do better than that, York. Let me hear you on the count of three, one, two, three, boom! Mm. Nice back, uh, you see them there, Caster? Trying to get an army of their own, and what a sorry attempt it was! Sooner! Shall we show them? After there is a true military battalion! Yay! Yeah. 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 Can we be that like caster on the count of three? One, two, three, yeah. I was saying boo words. Come on, shoot. 
she is French and she is incredible. She's as bold as a lion, as brave as a bear, a ferocious she wolf amongst men. Come on, my queen! Fire Lancaster! Let me your and Give it up. 
Richard. England is mine. England is mine. Thing that you saw was us watching the jousting War of the Roses. It was a really good show, wasn't it? It was. It was really, really warm. It was. It was roasting up. Yeah, it was really busy. Like to the point where I think they were turning people away that were a bit further behind us yeah. in the queue to get in. I'm glad we got in. And saw it. Though. Yeah, it's definitely worth seeing it. Like the final but, fight was down our end, so we could actually see that. The atmosphere was good. Yeah, it was really good. It was a good show. Really well put together. And I think we haven't really done much since then. We've been sitting in the shade, although this isn't the shade anymore where Stevie is. Rich is still in the shade over there, or half. His head's not. He's got one leg in the sun. We haven't really done much since you last saw us. No, we had an ice cream. We had an ice cream, we had a beer. Yeah, we sat in the shade. Lucy's in the dungeon at the moment. We're going in the dungeon in a minute for a cool. And we can't film in there, I don't think. I'm assuming it's the same as Blackpool. No filming. Right, Elliot's taking us for a quick look in the jail. And this doorway is really low. <laughs> That's spooky, isn't it? That's where the Martin people got. In the mystery box. <laughs> Prisoners decim destined for particularly harsh treatments were bundled down there. We're fancy going down there. It's the tower. And we probably won't be going up there today because it's roasting up and we don't fancy walking up all the stairs. Although lots of people are still doing it. Yeah. All those people going up the stairs there. I've also just pulled my leg and I don't know how. I sat down on the grass. I just sat down on the grass and I pulled my leg. So it's your little old lady status, that's what it is. Little old lady Stevie. It's so bad. <laughs> you need to sit sit down on the grass and do your ripping. It's on my hip. My leg. Oh, your leg. Oh, that's much better. It didn't hit last week. <laughs> Came out of the dungeon, which was really good actually. Enjoyed the dungeon, pretty I, good. I found it less intimidating than the Blackpool one. I thought the actors, I know the actors aren't meant to be friendly, but I thought the actors were friendlier here. Yeah, it was pretty, I thought it was pretty similar experience really. Obviously minus the drop tower at the end that Blackpool has. Yeah. Uh, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the Blackpool one, Stevie less so. Yeah, I enjoyed that one a lot more than Blackpool, but Blackpool is better if you're into that kind of thing. But because I'm not, I found that one better for me. Yeah. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter than the Blackpool one, but if you're at Warwick Castle, it's included if you've got a premium Merlin Pass. If you haven't, it's £9 mm -hmm. to do it, which is not bad value, really. If you, you're paying to get into the castle anyway, it's not too, bad of, not too bad of an uplift, rather. That's what I was saying. But yeah, overall, it's been a really good day. It's been great to see Rich and Lucy and really Elliot has. and Owen again. It's really. felt like it's been so long since we've seen it. Well, since I've seen them anyway. I saw them last week. No, but, <laughs> like, it's been ages because, yeah, it's just not happened. So yeah, it was Steve lovely to see in. them. I have. I'm getting buzzed. Buzzed. That's because we're stood in a bush. I did tell her. I said, why are we standing in a bush? Because it's shade video. and it's we're absolutely roasted. Now the sun's going. Yeah, the sun's behind the cloud now anyway. <laughs> but it has been absolutely roasted. I can't wait to get home have a shower and just chill out for the rest of the night. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting home now. Although we have got a two hour drive, so we need to get on the road and get and going. Get Stevie can have a snooze <laughs> in the car, which means we can have good music on in the car. Hey, my music is good, summit's buzzing. So we'll leave it there. Been a yeah. fantastic day. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow our adventures and we will see you guys soon. See ya. Bye. <laughs>